A lot of users are probably not aware that Trade Navigator is capable of placing trades directly through the software. By using one of our approved brokers, you can set up as well live accounts uh, with a live broker to basically place your trades. But we're going to talk about creating market orders today in Trade Navigator and creating a simple market order using our order bar system. Uh, if you'd like to trade from the ladder, we do have a video um, that we're going to produce as well to trade from the ladder. But we're going to take a look at how to place, basically today, a market order using the chart windows. So the first thing you'll want to do, once you get Trade Navigator open and make sure that Trade Navigator is up to date so that you do have the most current data for the markets, um, you'll make sure that you are in the streaming mode. Now it's best to use streaming when you're setting up uh, or when you're practice trading or live trading obviously, but you could also do some of this using our end of day data feature as well. And that's going to activate our streaming real time connection. Now if you've got any other um, trades or positions that you might have been practicing with, you may get the position confirmation for Genesis SIM broker. This is just letting you know or letting us know when we're in a trade what positions we currently might have been previously and where we stand right now. So it's good to check this out before you start jumping in to some of the trades that you might be doing. Uh, basically the green light represents the fact that we are now connected to either streaming or real-time data. So now from here, we're simply going to activate the Trade Navigator order bar system. And we can do this on a lot of different charts. It could be futures, indices, forex. But when we activate the order bar, if we are currently on a symbol that cannot be traded, there are multiple symbols that we can apply the order bar to. But when we apply the order bar to some symbols that cannot be traded, we'll get an error message on the order bar. Don't worry, at this point, we're simply going to change the symbol to a tradable symbol to see the order bar buttons on the chart. Now, what we have on the chart window after we place that order is a marker that shows exactly where we've entered the position. Now, you can hover your mouse cursor over the top of that marker, and it will tell you about the trade that was placed. Basically, again, we've got a long entry on that particular date. Now, if I want to get out of this position, and I don't care, again, at this point I'm doing a market order, which means I don't care what the price is at the time I exit. I just want to get out of the position. We're going to click on Sell Market. Now, when we're doing an exit of a market order, we're going to get a different type of marker here. Now, it's hard to tell or hard to see that they're too close together. So I'm going to drop down to a lower time frame. And so now taking a look at the two markers we have, simply we have a solid marker for the entry position and a hollow marker for the exit position. All right, so let's go in now and take a look at placing again a market order. This time we're going to sell the market and enter the position with a market order and exit the position with a market order. And again, simply all we're doing is clicking on the sell market button. Uh, and when we do that, now when we create an order we can have this order confirmed before the order is placed or we can have the order just a one-click process now using confirm all we're doing is checking the box to the confirm the order and then we click the sell market button now this time instead of the market order going directly through we're gonna to have to click submit order and now the order is placed and again we see on the chart window a solid red marker now shows our exit or entry position. So now to get out of this position we're going to have to buy market. We're simply going to click the buy market button. We'll have to submit order again. Again because if we're using confirm orders we're going to submit the order before the order is sent. And now on the chart window we'll see that there is a hollow blue triangle and let's drop down to a smaller time frame so you can see that. So there's this solid red triangle that we use to enter the position. Uh, and then there is the hollow blue triangle that we used to exit the position. 
All right, so to check out how to create a contingency order, setting an order up uh, at a specific price level or creating a bracket order, check out the next video, uh, Placing Orders on the Chart.